Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, also money1776.com. Today is September the 3rd, 2024. I'm just going to share with you uh, a recent move I did uh, in the financial markets. Nothing I say in this video should be construed as investment advice. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, um, the market is bad off, right? Uh, whatever the politicians are saying, just understand that the yield curve is uninverting, which augurs a recession. All of this talk about the Fed lowering uh, rates, uh, number one, that probably won't happen to the extent that people think it will because there are still signs of inflation in the economy. Understand, folks, prices are still going up, right? It's not like your income is keeping abreast if you're a W-2 employee, if you're working class, with the inflation rates, right? When they're telling you that inflation's around 3%, that means that prices are rising 3% year over year, right? Just food for thought. So for all of these politicians smiling at you at conventions, uh, just understand they don't have any solutions for you. The idea, too, that they're going to make you getting deeper in debt more affordable, that's what lower rates are all about, is laughable. We're having problems coping with the debt we have. Right? Understand, too, <clears throat> a lot of bubbles are bursting right now. Let me name one. You do your independent research. The condo market in parts of Florida. Right? Understand, too, the problems are structural. They're not temporary. You have homeowners association fees skyrocketing. You have insurance costs skyrocketing. So if you buy a condo, understand your purchase price is just part of your outlay. You're going to have to pay these recurring fees and folks, they're making the purchase of the condo a bad risk reward. So let's talk about the market. In the last 24 hours, I sold my NVDD. Right? This is a play Again, I'm just sharing what I'm doing. This is a play that was great for me, right? Um, NVIDIA recently announced their second quarter earnings report. And let's just say at the time I sold my NVDD, I was up more than 6%. By the way, NVDD is up today, right? Even though the market's down big, especially gold, right? Just to understand, I made about a 6% profit in a matter of days, right? Just since the NVIDIA uh, earnings. I bought it a little before the NVIDIA earnings, wrote it through the earnings report. Uh, so in less than a week, I'm up 6% on the position. So I've cashed out of the position because there's another startling bargain out there and it's down big this morning now here again we're not trying to be contrarians we're just looking for value folks I believe there's huge value right now in owning a play related to gold miners let me give a little bit of background here and understand we're hunting for big game in other words, uh, I'm really trying to find uh, plays that if the market breaks the way I think it will, will deliver, right? So we thought NVIDIA was a uh, price for perfection. Folks, it still is, right? Understand their next earnings release is going to be November 19th, right? You want to keep an eye there. I believe strongly in AI, strongly 
in AI, right? But at some point, prices start to matter, right? Understand, too, there are other uh, <clears throat> potential downfalls for NVIDIA. Uh, it's having problems rolling out its Blackwell chip. Uh, just be on top of the story. Well, in gold, there's a gold miners ETF. It's called the GDX. Again, it's the GDX. And understand, it holds a lot of the big companies, the most well-known companies in the space, right? Newmont, Agnico, Barrick, Wheaton, those are among the top holdings of the GDX. Now, if you are bullish on gold, just understand at the top end of the gold spectrum are the gold miners. If they're able to pull gold out of the ground at a lower cost than the price per ounce, right? You're in the catbird seat. Well, we're going to go even more aggressive than that, right? Understand the GDX makes up roughly half of the holdings of a 2x gold ETF. That 2x gold ETF is N-U-G-T. Again, it's N-U-G-T, right? It's a Direxion ETF. I've transferred what I had, the money I had in NVDD, which was doing well, which was up, which is up today. I transferred it to NUGT, which is down today. Why? Because I think ultimately the currency, the dollar, is going to be debased. More importantly, even if the dollar is not debased, I believe gold right here is undervalued. Right? Just understand, right now, in this uh, economy where unemployment is increasing, where we have other problems that aren't even being acknowledged, I encourage people to just look at Illinois' pension crisis. Right, folks? It's one thing for the United States to have a debt. Just understand, when the state of Illinois has a debt, it can't print money. The credit markets are already overstretched. We haven't even thought about derivatives liability. Right, folks? A lot of things are going to hit. Let me also say this too. One of the politicians, and I'm not going to pick on any individual politician, so I'm not going to name names, but one politician had the bright idea, has it, of giving first-time homeowners $25,000 that the federal government right now doesn't have. Right? Just think to yourself as you look on your block how many possible first-time home buyers are there going to be in the next year or so? Now let's keep the dialogue real here. You understand that housing right now is overextended. I run a website. It's housing777.com. Again, it's housing777.com. Right, it just highlights different parts of the country, Florida being one of them, uh, Idaho being another one. I'm just telling you that the home buyers who would be getting $25,000 of money our federal government does not have, perhaps this is the money that this politician hopes to get from taxing unrealized gains. Uh, of the wealthy, right? The people who are actually starting businesses and supporting investments, 
right? Well, just to understand, if housing adjusts to the mean, and we're talking about sinking the median price of a house with, let's say, the median income of a community. If it just reverts to the historical mean, many, many, many houses are going to be dropping by more than $25,000. Right? That's just a free market. Right? You don't need the government stepping in to a free market setting when if the market clears, the price of a house is going to drop. So understand what the enlightened politicians are trying to do here. They're trying to subsidize you buying a falling knife. Because the idea is you're going to feel that you're getting a break buying an asset that is already historically out of whack price-wise. And of course, the hope is that other people in the neighborhood who own a house are going to feel that it's a good idea because at least the government is trying to increase the demand for their house. Right, folks? Remember this saying. It's one I live by. Sooner or later, the market takes over. Right, let's just say this isn't a high tide in our political cycle. The candidates who are running, one believes in tariffs, the other one believes in subsidizing you buying into an already overextended market, right? And of course, wants to change the Constitution so they can actually tax unrealized gains, right? I don't care if they limit it to the wealthiest among us. You and I know once you set that precedent, pretty soon they're going to start trying to tax your unrealized gains. Just look at the history of the U.S. income tax, right? So I believe we're in bad times, much worse than being reported, Right? We're fortunate that people are using the R word, recession, and not the possible D word, depression. Right? There's some out there, by the way, who feel we're already in a depression. Look up uh, Jim Rickards' work. Right? So in this climate, folks, the person who owns gold, or let's say an ETF, based on gold miners, particularly when the price is down today, I believe is going to do well. So I'm shifting out of NVDD um, simply because I believe NVIDIA is making a lot of money. The earnings report really wasn't that bad. People are going to be searching, searching for real rates of return, and NVIDIA is a company generating a very real rate of return compared to other parts of the economy. Understand, if the value of your house just stays flat, you're losing money, right, in these inflationary times. It might be staying flat nominally, but not in real dollars, right? So, I'm redeploying capital. I've moved it out of NVDD. I've moved it into NUGT. I'm bullish on gold. For more conservative investors, you know, I'm not going to knock investing in gold, just buying gold. That's a great investment, especially if it's physical gold and you can hold it. So whatever the government does, you own your gold. Right? To paraphrase crypto, where they say correctly, not your keys, not your crypto. And gold, if it's not your physical gold in your custody, then it's not your gold. But here, we're going to take more risk than that. The play I like is N-U-G-T. Again, N-U-G-T.
t it's a 2x in other words leveraged etf on gold miners not even gold folks it's gold miners right this is a way to get a rate of return if you're going to get one right nothing in life is guaranteed but death and taxes if gold breaks the right way this will 2x the gdx at least that's the objective those are my thoughts let me hear yours in the comment section of this youtube video understand here again folks this is high risk we're hunting for big game right you need to view even an investment in a gold miner as having significant risk hell the value of the investment is down today that's the risk I'm taking those are my thoughts I look forward to yours in the comment section of this YouTube video thanks for stopping by